Realsteady announced support for the GoPro Hero 8 on January 29th, but how well does it work with the GoPro mounted to an FPV drone? In this video, I'm going to show you my results from testing the GoPro 8 on my FPV drone, some caveats that I found, and I'll even show you uh, some of my workflow in Realsteady app itself, the Realsteady Go app. So to get started, on the Realsteady website, they have an FAQ and one of the questions is about mounting your GoPro on a drone and the vibration issues that come with it. And in there it says it's recommended to use the Hero 6 for high vibration applications because Hero 5 and 7 uh, you get those vibrations going in the camera to make the footage unusable in the Real Steady Go app. And in order to get it to be stable and usable, you need to use what's called a soft mount. So I have two soft mounts here. This is a soft mount for the GoPro Hero 8, and this one's for 5, 6, and 7. And as you can see, they're very delicate. And if you uh, crash your drone while you're flying it, it's very likely that that GoPro will just fly off and may never see it again. But I have tested this out and soft mounting the GoPro, like the ones with the issues on the, on, the, on, the, on the Hero 7, does pretty much eliminate any of those vibration issues. But I don't want to fly my drone around using one of these mounts that's super delicate. I want something that's hard mounted on my drone that I'm gonna still have my GoPro in crashes because crashes are inevitable. So I'd like to show you um, also a page on Real Steady that's Drone Vibration Problems and Solutions. And on this page, they say that the Hero 8 and Hero 6 don't have the issues that the 7 does and the 5 does and needing a soft vibration mount. So let's see if it's true. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up some footage of me flying the Hero 8 hard mounted on my FPV drone. So in this footage that you're seeing here, uh, I'm flying through some excavators and that day was super windy, it was like 40 miles an hour winds, given I also am not the best flyer and my quad is not tuned the best, the result is this super shaky video that you're seeing. So how well can Real Steady use this footage to make a super stabilized video? Let's go ahead and open up Real Steady. I've already set some sync points on this video, so once I open this up in Real Steady Go after it runs the numbers, it should have the sync points that I had already set. Now note that on the GoPro Hero 8 and 7 and 6 on version anything higher than 1.6, you need to have multiple sync points throughout your video in order to align the gyro track and the video track. On the Hero 6 version 1.6 and below, you only needed one at the beginning and the end because they were always aligned. So uh, here is it processing through Real Steady Go. I'm going to go ahead and save the video and we will see once it's done rendering how stable it ended up being. Okay, Real Steady has finished stabilizing my video. Let's go ahead and see the results. So right here, as you can see, it's super steady. So with the GoPro Hero 8 hard mounted on my drone, Real Steady was able to do its magic and stabilize the video. So what are the caveats of using a GoPro Hero 8 hard mounted on an FPV drone? It's the same caveats you get out of any of the GoPros hard mounted to a drone. And that is if you have a drone that has a lot of vibration, it doesn't matter what kind of software you have to stabilize or what kind of a hard mount you have, there's not gonna be a way to recover that footage. I flew this drone here hard mounted with my GoPro and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So right here, 
as you can see in the flight, it looks like jello. It's just all over the place. And when I fed this through Real Steady, there was nothing I could do to address this issue. Um, even though the stabilization was rock solid on the horizon, you still had that jello look all around the video. Now in these situations, it doesn't matter if it's an 8, 7, 6, 5 GoPro, you're going to need to soft mount it onto your FPV drone. Or tune your drone better. <laughs> Um, or fix the vibration issues that are the cause to begin with. But if you don't do that, you can still soft mount like this. As long as you don't crash it, then you should be pretty okay to fly this around and capture a lot smoother footage and real steady can be able to use this to make super stable video. Thank you for watching. I hope that I was able to answer some of your questions with Real Steady and the GoPro Hero 8. If you have any additional questions, please comment below. If you like these videos, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.